we're going to make milk chocolate cookies. So let's get started. First, Shakur is going to need a large bowl, and we're going to start out with 12 uh, tablespoons of baking cocoa into our bowl. And you're going to need four tablespoons of canola oil or whatever type of oil that you prefer. We're going to put one half cup of unsalted butter that's been softened or sit, sat at room temperature. We're going to need one quarter cup of vegetable shortening. And now we're going to start creaming this together. I'm going to use my hand mixer because it's much uh, easier for the video. You can go ahead and use your stand mixer for this, of course, and just start to cream your baking cocoa, your vegetable shortening, and your butter together. Let's start off on low speed, otherwise the cocoa is going to go all over you. You're going to need a cup of granulated sugar. So put that in your bowl. And you're going to need two large eggs that also I had sitting out um, on room temperature. And now combine this together. I'm going to raise my speed, blend it well, working the sides of my bowl. And I'll show you in a second what this looks like. like a very thick chocolate batter, as you can see. And now you're going to need flour, and you're going to use two and one quarter cups of flour. And I'm going to take this off my spatula here. Go back to my hand mixer, and I'm going to add the flour just a little bit at a time at low speed until I combine it all in the bowl. I'm going to raise my speed up a little bit. And combine that flour. That was the rest of it. That was two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. You're going to need a half a teaspoon of baking powder. You're going to use a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. And we're going to combine this all together. I'm going to raise my speed because by now the dough is forming, so it's going to be heavy and it's going to be thick. So I'm going to work the sides of my bowl. move this cookie dough on high speed with my hand mixer here. Next we're going to put in a half a cup of nuts. Now this is up to you if you want to use, I'm using peanuts, uh, if you want to use walnuts or hazelnuts it's really up to you. I went ahead though and I actually ground the peanuts uh, in my blender, so it almost, um, they're, you know, they're, they're really crushed. And that was um, a half a cup. And again, your batter is going to be quite thick now, so stay with it just to get those nuts blended into your bowl and into the batter. Working the sides, and I will show you here what it looks like. it all together to show you what the dough looks like, the cookie dough. And here we go. And then I'm going to put it on my counter with a little bit of flour. I'm 
my counter and I'm going to put the dough right on top of that flour. And then with my clean hands, I'm just going to make a log out of it. Square off your ends. And this log is probably about 12 inches in length. And in thickness, it's probably about inch and a half. an inch and a half. Now you can make them as thick or thin as you like, but this is how I like to do the recipe. You're going to need a, a baking sheet or cookie sheet, and it's ungreased. You don't need to put any oil or anything on it. And then you're going to just actually start cutting them off at about a half inch thick onto your pan. This is going to yield you about um, two dozen cookies. all together. Just space them out about two inches apart and bake them at 350 degrees and they're going to take you probably about 10 minutes to bake them. So check your, uh, check your oven and uh, check your cookies after about five minutes or so. I went ahead and made some ahead of time to show you what they would look like and this is what they do look like when they come out. And next you're going to need melt chocolate. Now you need about a pound of it and you'll need to melt it. Now you can melt it on your stove uh, with a double boiler or you can use it in your microwave. What I like to do is I melt my chocolate and you're going to need a pound of it uh, in the microwave and then I like to use this particular little uh, gadget that I have that keeps the chocolate just at the right temperature so it doesn't harden on me. And then what you're going to do is you're going to need some type of a, a shallow bowl to put your chocolate in and pour that in. And then you're just going to dip your cookie right into the chocolate. You can wipe the side off the bowl. And these will set up within probably five to ten minutes. When they come out and they're cooled and hardened, the cookies will look like this. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.